time to get that out of here. Today we have a new product. As you can see by the looks of it, it's a new chair. So yeah, we got a new chair. We're gonna be unboxing it and reviewing it on the channel. This is by Kurdom. Kurdom, yes. It's a very budget friendly gaming chair, gaming slash office chair. And uh, it's gonna be replacing my old squeaky one. So I'm happy about that. All right, let's get into it. So I'll be showing you how to install it and pretty much everything else. It arrives in literally like one or two days, which is very quick. So we have that. Wow, this is very nice. Yeah, that looks really nice. Pretty good packaging, not gonna lie. Got one of the armrests. Ooh, the re removable headrest. And then last but not least, everything you need to be able to assemble it. We have one of the, uh, all the wheels. Got a user manual and warranty. Very nice. Base plate. Right here we have the headrest. It's all surrounded in bubble wrap, which I appreciate. Very well protected. This is a nice headrest. Especially what you're paying for this. You're not, a, you wouldn't expect this good amount of quality. All right, it seems like the base is made out of metal. Yeah, it's an actual metal. At least I don't think it is plastic. If it is plastic, this is a really good plastic, but it feels like metal and it looks like metal. Check out this backrest. This is a huge backrest. This is huge. And then we have the uh, cushion here. So on the bottom, you don't really have a whole lot, basically for the backrest and the armrest right here. You have the wheels here. Put these in. Very simple on how to put them in, you just push them in. And I believe these are good for carpet as well as hardwood. All right, so we got all five on, little pull here. The longest screws here, which are the four six by 35 millimeter, are gonna be used for the backrest. The six 30 millimeters are gonna be used for the headrest, backrest, and armrest. And this is gonna be used for the bottom of the backrest. And then the smallest screws are gonna be used for the plate. So let's go ahead and do that. And you're gonna want to just match up the arrows here. So there's a little front tab right here and then a front tab on the cushion. And you're just gonna wanna align that. And then this is for the smaller screws. So we're gonna use the smaller screws as well as the included alum wrench. This would be way easier with the power drill, but I don't have one right now. And the lever just works as is. You have the locking mechanism as well in there. All right, so now we're gonna attach the backrest and the headrest. You can use it or you don't have to. I'm gonna use it just because. So we're gonna use the medium screws, which are the six right here. All right, so yeah, you're just gonna wanna put those there. Now these will be covered with the back plate, but don't tighten these too tight just yet. Make sure it's straight first. So this looks relatively straight. And then, oh, okay, so this swivels. And then let's go ahead and tighten this now. Let's just put the back piece on it and it's nice and flush. Now we can add the armrests, I believe. Yeah, so the armrests attach to both the backrest as well as the bottom of the chair as well. So they do label them. This is the right side. All right, so you're gonna use the longest screws, the four 35 millimeter ones. Insert both of them like so. All right, now that we've got them screwed in, we can use these little end caps, pop these into place. All right, and then we just do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we're just gonna insert this one right here. Now we're just gonna attach this to the seat and then we're done. All right, so we'll just get this here. Last four screws here, we just use them right there. Just gotta line the holes. All right, we got to kind of angle it. I'm just gonna put all of them into place and then I'll tighten them accordingly. And then just tighten that in a bit. And then you're pretty much good to go, just tighten them all. There we go. And we just place this on the bottom like so. And we're done. That's it. That's literally it. So it'll take anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes to be able to assemble. You can easily assemble this very, very quickly, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down for the first time on this. Wow, 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 wow. This is feels way lighter, it feels way better. I'm gonna get a better shot at this because I can't see anything. Look at that. It's on, is it on the right or left? Okay, good, it's on the right. So this is the lowest it can go, I believe. And that's the tallest it can go, as you can see. So it's really good. And it spins way better than my other one. And it goes lower, super smooth. As opposed to this one right here, this one's heavy, like very heavy. Look at this. Besides that, but it it's takes forever because it's heavy. Like I have to actually have to use both legs. This one, I could just use one leg 
it'll spin in literally one push. I'm not even, not even doing anything. And then I believe you can uh, tighten these as well on the side. So if you want it to lock in one position, you can do that instead of it moving. I want it at a certain. Oh, it has height adjustment. No way. That's crazy. But yeah, so you can go even higher or lower. All right, so I had this chair for a few weeks now, and I really do like it. It's personally my favorite from the amazing mesh to the armrests to the swiveling. It's very quiet, stealthy, it looks clean in any setup. Since black goes with everything, they also have a white version. White goes with everything, so very neutral. Friendly colors, it's easy to clean. I had some food on here, some chocolate, which is hard to get off on some material. This one I cleaned off pretty much like brand new. You just spray it with anything practically and then just wipe it off and you're good. And that's literally it. It's very easy to clean, very, very easy in general. I had no issues with the headrest. Uh, it was stiff at first, but it got broken into and it feels a lot better now. You can also adjust this back piece. You can lift it up, angle it if you would like. That's the lumbar support right there. And it helps out so, so much. So when you're sitting down, you can actually feel all of that. The only thing is I wish it did recline. It does push it back a little bit, but it feels really good. These armrests, if you're not used to the material, uh, it does get some time to get used to. And you can scrape your arms on it, and it kind of doesn't feel pleasant on the arm. So this is probably the downside on it. I wish it was like a pleather or anything, but I guess this material lasts longer than that. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So yeah. Overall, I think it's a really good budget-friendly chair. If you guys want to pick it up, it's around 100 bucks, 100 to 150. It's really inexpensive, but it's well worth it for sure. Without further ado, let's see you guys in the next one.